Greetings, Internet Land. This is Zachmus Prime, aka Zachmus Prime, bringing you a Transformers third party review. Figure I'm bringing today I bought from Titan One Toys. Titan One Toys is super awesome and they are the best. And the figures I'm reviewing are the Unique Toys Palm Collection uh, Unhappy and No Minds, I guess. I'm not sure exactly which is which. The, the uh, nothing on the packaging seems to clarify, but that's what they are. We recognize them as uh, ape face and uh, highbrow. And these these are continuing the little palm collection series of legend size um, headmaster guys, and they are just really cool. They are. Let me just take a moment bring all of them out they're shaping up to be like a really really great little collection and then yeah. just a fantastic little group of figures and they're all like really fun to play with they're all really nice and they scale really well together and i just i'm digging it 100 percent Anyhow, so first let's take a look at Highbrow. Highbrow is um, really nice. Mostly free of kibble. I wish that they uh, figured some, something to do with the propellers, but at this scale you really can't expect that whatsoever. I know the Fans Project one did, but that's like more of a, more of a little bigger than deluxe scale. But um, in terms of articulation, no no head rotation there because, like most all of these other figures, head just goes straight into a square socket. Um, ball joint at the shoulders. There's no cut, so they just only move out that far. He does have a um, ball joint at the elbows. Allows for some bicep rotation, about 90 degrees of bend. Like, so it's a little less than 90 degrees, isn't it? Huh. Does have a waist rotation. Things go forward that much, go back that much, go out that much. So we got the full Van Dam there. Knees will go about 90 degrees. There is some rotation at the knee. The feet are on a ball joint. So they will not really tilt forward and back much, but they'll tilt side to side quite a bit. In terms of accessories, he comes with his two guns. They are uh, pretty good representations of his of his G1 guns. Back when I was a kid, I had a I had this figure, and his guns always seem to end up being held by one of my Technic uh, guys. Back when back when they had a couple Technic sets that had like a little little man. Much larger than a Lego minifigure, but, you know, it was a Technic figure. And, uh, yeah, he was always dual-wielding these things. Anyhow, to get him transformed up, we're going to take his head off. By the way, his head... Let's see if I can focus on his face. Pretty decent. Little, little you know, delicate little paint apps. You get him transformed, just open him up like that. Just like every single other one. Again, the focus grasshopper. Ah, oh, dropped it. Why does it not want to focus? There we go. He's even got a tiny little silver paint app right here on his mono boob. Nice. Anyhow, so let's take his accessories, his guns out of his hands. To get this guy transformed up, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull these out, rotate them at the knee, peg them together. Now we're going to take and unpeg this panel right here, like that. We're going to rotate it down, bring the hips back. You'll see that there's this tab here. And there's a slot 
back here caused by the legs. We're going to slide that up. The crotch will slide along this little hinge right here. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention real quick. One of the things that I really dig about um, these figures. Yeah, this is something that I really liked about the uh, the old G1 Headmasters, the little tech specs. And for some unfathomable reason, reason they never did them on the uh, on the uh, the Titans Return ones. I, I don't get it. It would have been such an obvious thing. But I'm sure it would have taken slightly more tooling and slightly more work and etc. 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 Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this up and it's going to come all the way around. I think I may have to sneeze. Thank you. <coughs> thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Winnie. This tab is going to come around and it's going to peg right into this point right here. And we're going to open up the cockpit here, pull out the nose, and close it back up. Now for the arms, what we're going to do, we're going to straighten this out, right? We're going to slide this, because it's on this little slider joint right here. We're going to slide this all the way down. And there's a cut into his bicep. We're going to turn that. And that's going to allow us to peg his... This peg is going to go into his hand. And then this peg right here is going to go into his forearm. And that's going to keep all of that in place. Now for the other side is just like the first side. Slide this down, rotate there, peg that in, peg that in, and BAM! We're going to take these, there's little holes under here, peg them into that. Come on, pick it into that. Yeah. Open up its cockpit. We're going to take him and bend his legs. Cram him into here. Come on, fit. Close it up. And there he is in his alt mode. As you can see, he's got, if you look into this windscreen, he's got visible head syndrome. It just looks like a robot now. And uh, his little propeller things turn as propeller things should, I suppose. And uh, it looks pretty good. It, looks, it, it, it kind of looks like one of those um, little dropship things from, uh, from Halo Reach. But really nice. I really enjoy this figure, actually, like quite a bit. Now, let's stick him to the side and let's take a look at ape face now one of the things that I think is cool about ape face is that ape face was actually a um, a triple changer and he was a triple changer headmaster by the way there's his old text back in there and so I think that's super cool too one of the reasons I, I kind of liked them but I never had one oh one of the things that I so as I'm getting into articulation on this guy um, they built this guy slightly different. He's got his, his little head is attached on. Let me see if I can pull it off. His, his little head is attached with a tiny peg. And so it rotates. And so this guy actually has, honest to God, neck articulation. Which is nice. I think that is um, a nice little improvement, and it shows that Unique Toys is, you know, working on things and dedicated to, to to trying to improve things, even when they even when they think they've already got a really good formula, which they do have a really good formula for this line. But a little bit of work makes it even better. I love that. Anyhow, in terms of articulation, he's got his neck rotates like this. His shoulders on a ball joint with a big cut on it. He also has 
like a transformation joint here so you can shrug his shoulders a bit. Elbow moves slightly more than 90 degrees. It's on a ball joint so it pivots at that point as well. He has a waist joint allowing for free rotation there. Legs will go all the way forward. A little bit loose on this joint like in certain positions which is real unfortunate. I'll have to fix that later. Back all the way, forward all the way. Knees on, a ball joint moves about 90 degrees. There is a rotation here. His toe is actually on a ball joint as well. It'll go up a little bit, down a little bit. You've got a rotation right here. But um, pretty good heel support on this guy. Good posability on him. Like, that's a fun little figure. To get him transformed up, we're going to take the head out. We're going to unpeg these wings. We're going to take this and swing this all the way around. Unpeg this. Oh, first we're going to, got to open up his tech spec cover. Because that becomes part of the transformation as well. Take his feet peg them together. These pegs are going to com come together and the tech spec cover is going to peg onto them. We'll take these toes and just bend them down and they will kind of just sit in these little recesses right here. We're going to pull up these wings right here. I forgot to mention, these ring these wings are actually removable, and they've got a little peg on them. They can be wielded as swords, so that's fun. We're gonna take this arm, move it around, peg his fist into that peg on his leg, and again with the other side, swing that around, swing that around. And then we're just going to take this guy here. We're going to bend him. Such. Bam. And that's uh, that's pretty much it right there. Um, this doesn't really peg into anywhere. Oh, wait. Yes, it does. It pegs in right here. And there he is in his space jet mode. And I think it's pretty decent. I think it's pretty decent as far as things go. Um, certainly pretty decent for a figure this size. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a really nice figure. Anyhow, but he's not done yet. No. What we're going to do for this next mode is we're going to take, we're going to unpeg these. We're going to fold this section back up the way it was before. We're going to uh, untab this. We're going to bend this joint right here. Flip this out. And then bend this back into place. We're going to tap these wings back into here. We're going to rotate this all the way around. And now we're going to take, there's a joint right in here. We're going to turn that. And you'll see this exposes this piece with uh, little hollows in it. Those hollows are going to fit into those tabs right there. It is a little bit tight, but it holds well. And this exposes a secondary, um, a secondary head socket right there. I like to take these wings and flip them around like that and peg them back in. 
I know it's technically a little bit of parts forming, but I don't care. And that reveals this bicep swivel right here. We'll extend this out. The foot, by the way, will peg right onto this little peg right here. That peg was the one that the fist was pegged into, but now it's not. Extend this up. Turn these around. And now when we close them, we can see on the one side we've got his face, and on the other side we've got his gorilla face. So we're going to peg it in so the gorilla face is showing, and then we're just going to pose him up a bit. And there's ape face in his uh, in his ape mode, and uh, gosh, you know that's, that that looks really good too. I think it's fantastic. I think that this whole figure is just genius. But um, this guy, he still retains the head rotation here, a little bit of uh, uh, ab crunch there. His waist rotation now turns into mm, a mostly useless mid-torso joint there. His arms now are basically what... I mean, the shoulder joint was what was the knee before. So it goes all the way around, goes out all the way, has a bicep swivel. His elbow joint goes all the way up. His wrist has got is on a ball joint, so it has a full range of motion there. legs move all the way around this is the same as the previous arm this is the same as the previous elbow and this tilts quite nicely and so pretty good range of uh, posability on the uh, the ape figure as well you know I just I like I like the way that they take these you know classic g1 bricks and let's be honest they were they were bricks I mean um, I was at a friend's house uh, not too too long ago a couple months ago and he has a, um, a G1, he got a G1 um, hard head at a, uh, at a yard sale. And that sucker, the only articulation on him was up at the shoulder. And it wasn't even, wasn't even a full range of articulation, just moves up and down. No head articulation, no leg articulation, no, no nothing, just arm joints. And uh, if we got a figure these days that was just arm joints, we'd probably have a freaking cow. Um, and Unique Toys is able to take those those chunky, blocky G1 designs and turn them into something really, really remarkable. I think that's just that's just magic right there. But yeah, so there's uh, no minds and unhappy. I don't know which is which, um, but that's uh, ape face and. Uh, Hightower. Fantastic figures. I recommend getting them. They're really nice. Um, I'm continuing my my Legends collection, so these are excellent additions to that. Anyhow, you guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. Be good to each other and have a nice day. See ya. <laughs>